Now, it's been some time since I've last reviewed a Red Dragon product, which I did do a lot back in the day. But today, I'm back with uh, the new Red Dragon M908 Impact, an affordable mask with a ton of buttons that will help you quickly switch between commands, weapons, building materials, and pretty much anything else you would really need quick access to. So, all right, starting off with the pricing for the M908 Impact, it is retailing for around $33 dollars on Amazon. Unfortunately, no yet pricing for South Africa. Now, straight away, you will see that this is quite a large mouse and is more aimed for MMO style gamers with the 12 programmable buttons on the side. Also, being so large, the mouse is more aimed for medium to large size hands with either a palm or claw style grip. As for comfort, being so large, it was extremely good, having a very good body curve for your palm, a large ring finger and a pinky support on the right, and then also the thumb buttons were slightly curved for a better grip compared to some of the other MMO style mice out there. Now, as for those 12 thumb buttons, using them in game was very easy. Even though I don't really play a lot of MMO style games, it is going to work very well in, for instance, Fortnite, along you switching between your weapons and building materials a lot faster. These are not the only extra buttons you get, however. Also, next to the left mouse click, you also get an additional button there for just some quick access alongside. Now, speaking about the left mouse button, I did have a bit of an issue with the one I had here, where if you slightly tap or tap all the way through, it would squeak and it was that annoying squeak. Uh, so that was just something that I really liked. Red Dragon did say that they would replace the one I had here for a new one. So if you do run into a problem like this, doesn't matter on what mouse it is, uh, you can take it back in that a few days after buying and they will replace it. Now here's just a quick sound test of that left click and then also the rest of the buttons on the mouse. But now moving on to the scroll wheel, it does have a pretty standard scroll to it, not being too heavy, you get your textured rubber grip, and then also it is illuminated on the sides for your RGB, so nothing really too different here. Just behind the scroll wheel, you get the DPI selection switches that let you cycle through the five different DPI levels with a clear LED indicators on the side. Taking a look underneath the impact, you get a four glide pads that delivers a pretty smooth glide on a cloth mouse pad. You also get the PixArt PMW3327 laser sensor with a max DPI of 12,400. You also get the profile selection switch that lets you switch between the five dif different uh, profiles in the software. And then lastly, you do get eight 2.4 gram weights that will take the weight of the mouse from 100 and 14 grams all the way up to 133 grams so you can mix and match and get the exact uh, weight that you want now then as for how the laser sensor performed uh, i do prefer optical sensors over laser but it was still pretty good with the liftoff distance being less than one dvd which i really did like uh, i was unable to roll out the sensor with a fast flex and then also the accuracy was relatively good for a mouse at this point price range. I didn't really feel like it was the mouse holding me back because it was just my horrible aim in game that was just messing all of my aim up. But I'm moving on to the cable. You get a pretty standard 1.8 meter or 5.9 feet braided cable. And then lastly, just the software, which you can go download from Red Dragon's website, which I will just leave a link in the video description as well. Uh, in the software, you can switch between the five profiles, where in each one you can adjust settings like your DPI for each of the five levels, adjust the polling rate, acceleration, double click speed, scrolling speed, and a bunch more. 
you are also able to assign different commands to each of the six main buttons on top of the mouse and then of course those are 12 aside buttons you can select commands like your media controls to launch a program web browsing commands and then also you can create and assign your own custom macros with up to 59 keys in a single command and then as for your RGB lighting, you do get seven different effects that you can go through wherein each one has its own set of commands like a brightness and a speed. Alright, so in conclusion, what is my thoughts of the Red Dragon M908 Impact? Well, this is definitely a good option if you are looking for more of an affordable mouse with multiple button options. Build quality was relatively good, you could hear some sensor rattle when shaking it uh, and then also just that squeaky buttons, that was kind of the only two things that uh, I didn't really like that much but for the price it isn't too bad. Also something that I experience with most of these MMO style mice is that if you do press the side of buttons it's kind of hard to distinguish if you actually press it hard enough for it to uh, activate. Uh, same with this one so I would have liked if you could either hear a clicky sound or a louder clicky sound or if you could feel more that you actually pressed it down uh, enough. But that honestly is just from my side, uh, some of the other bigger MMO guys might not want that, uh, so that's just me throwing my two cents. And then lastly, just for comfort, I, I did feel like the M908 Impact was one of the more comfortable uh, MMO large mice that I've reviewed so far, even comparing it to the Razer Naga mice that I've reviewed, just because of uh, that right side of finger support where you did have a lot more grip if you wanted to lift up the mouse, uh, which I personally do because I play on a lower DPI level. So comfort wise, it was really, really good. Sensor was also good enough. And probably the only thing that kind of hindered me was that left mouse click, which was just a manufacturer fault. But now that's pretty much it. If you guys want to get the Red Dragon Impact for yourself, I will leave links in the video description where you can get it on Amazon. And I will also later update it if it does come out in South Africa for Rebel Tech. So yeah, just a big thanks to uh, Red Dragon for sending it over for this review. It's cool to get back into reviewing some Red Dragon products because I do like them. So a good option if you want to go for something more affordable. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. If you want me to review more Red Dragon products or anything else, let me know down in the comments below and I will definitely check you guys in the next review. So thanks for watching and cheers guys.